Hello friends, hola amigos. Today I'm going to speak about the thermostat housing. Welcome to this new video. Now as you can see, I have the Nissan Qashqai facelift model. So that is the J11B which was produced from 2017 i think and i have the 1.3 dick t motor with 140 horsepower the same motor block also comes with 160 horsepower and the motor block is produced by renault so you can find it in the nissan Qashqai, but you can also find it in the renault kajar but also in the dacia and in the mercedes a-class now let's speak about the elephant in the room. Apparently this specific motor block has an issue where you can find more than 50 pages on the UK Qashqai form. And that is that on certain cars, the thermostat housing blows up. You don't have any warning. So I read all the pages and I made a summary of my findings and that is that this problem occurs only on this motor block so the 1.3 dick t it happens mostly on the 140 horsepower but there are also occurrences on the 160 horsepower motor so i guess that is only due to the fact that the 140 horsepower is far more popular so more widely spread the problem mostly occurs in england and spain but there's hardly spoken of in Holland, Belgium, Germany. So that's really strange. There are also occurrences on the Dacia Renault Mercedes forums, but we focus only here on the Qashqai, of course. Now, most of the time the problem only occurs after the warranty period. Very strange. So only about certain amount of mileages and it happens mostly on the highway so when the motor is hot and what happens is that the thermostat housing blows up this is a plastic part it blows up the motor loses all its cooling so you won't have any alarms you suddenly lose power and you can't drive anymore so very very awkward and dangerous when driving on the highway of course now there are certain lucky people that manage to stop the car right away and call the AA or the Touring as we call it in Belgium but those who had to continue driving a little bit were that unlucky that eventually the motor itself was damaged in a way that it was beyond repair so they need a complete new engine block and of course there you face like six to ten thousand euros of investment so ver very painful most of those cars are even not completely paid for yet and you have a new big amount of money to spend in order to reuse your car now let's check out the thermostat housing itself So there you have my motor block and that part over there is a thermostat housing so it is this part that blows off and then you lose all the coolant that you see over there and eventually you damage your motor completely now this piece was made over apparently from a little bit better quality and to know which part you have, the original part or already the new part, to find out which version you have, you have the QR code right over there. Mine is really dirty, so let's clean it a little bit. Now you can see that I have those familiar three dots there over in the right corner. So I have the original part, which is quite logical as my car is from June 2020. So now it's the big question, am I going to replace this part or not? You don't have really pre-indicators for this piece to blow up. So it is really Russian roulette. 
I have to say in Belgium I don't have any occurrences in Holland very few as well some people say it would be wise to replace this piece with a newer part but then again you don't have any guarantee that it won't blown up either as there is not enough time since the people changed this piece some people say even that you should change it every three or four years to be sure that the plastic holds but there again it's our own assumptions and there's no proof or warranty that this is a good solution or not mercedes appears to have made some clips to hold the pieces together but we've searched for some info of that and we didn't find it neither so if you buy this piece you have to pay a little bit over 200 euros for the piece only and you can also buy the same piece which is completely identical at Renault and pay only half the price if you do the replacement yourself it is feasible you should remove the battery but of course if you never done such kind of job it's a critical part you will be better off with a local car shop or your dealership so at your dealership you will pay about 500 euro for this reparation so i'm not sure what i'm going to do it is a lot of money 500 euros but then again uh, it's a little bit like driving with a time bomb and when it happens and you blow your complete motor it is a really painful experience as well so i think i'll take it up with my dealership ask his opinion about this if he had any occurrences at his garage or if he had heard about it there are no recall actions on this nissan is completely ignoring his customers on this specific issue so really awkward so let me know in the comments what you think about it if you have the same car and what kind of terms at housing version you have don't forget to share, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the very next video. Bye bye.